Hello, this is Andy from HowEFIWorks.com, and today I'd like to talk about locating MAC and detonation using Megalog Viewer HD. And the method we're using, this will work on any log data that you might have off of an ODB2 port. Possibly in this case, I'm going to be doing a Harley Davidson, which is logging at 5 hertz. A uh, typical ODB port is in the 5 to 10 range, but it's still plenty fast enough with the method that we're going to be using to determine where you have knock issues. This is a basic data log showing RPM at the top, MAP or manifold air pressure and TPS, throttle position sensor, on the second trace. On the third trace, in green, is the spark knock front. And at the bottom in gold is spark knock rear. If you notice, we have quite a bit more action going on in the green, meaning more knock, and the timing is being pulled back on this particular motor front cylinder than it is on the rear. In the case of a Harley, there's two separate timing maps, one for the front cylinder and one for the rear cylinder. The first thing I'm going to do is create a calculated field under custom fields at a custom field, and we're going to create a field called yellow dots. In the top screen, we type in yellow dots. In the bottom, we'll simply type in the numeral one. What this does is creates yellow dots, all scaled at one on the right. You'll see it's all yellow. RPM at the bottom, running from 500 on the lower left, that's 500 RPM, up to 5,000 RPM on the right. On the left scale, runs from 20 kPa manifold air pressure up to about 105, just keeping things in the center of the screen. This motor happens to be naturally aspirated, so you'll never get over 100 kPa. At the bottom would be the downshift area. In the center, where all these dots are, that's where he spends the majority of his time. That's the area that you would concentrate on timing to maximize fuel economy. In the top right corner, notice there's not many dots, but that is the full power area, which he's running about 4,500 RPM and about 100 kPa. Notice how few dots there are in that area. So now I've changed to the color. In the top right, you'll see the Z axis has been changed to spark knock rear. The scale goes from blue of zero knock reported up to a red of two degrees of timing are being pulled. And you notice in this view that there's quite a few dots that are other something other than deep view in this area. Now I'd like to create a data filter. And we're going to call this new filter no spark retard rear. And what I'm going to do is start with a square bracket, type in spark knock rear R, close bracket, this is case sensitive and has to be exactly as the field is coming at you in the data log, is less than spark knock rear minus one. What this does is compares the current record with one record back and says, if I'm decaying spark knock retard, it must be that the motor is resetting itself. So I don't want to see that data. On the right side, after the OR, is any time that the spark knock rear is reporting zero knock or zero retard, we don't want to see that data either. So here's the, the screen we had before, and you can see some dots, but they're difficult to see. And if you notice on the right, I have no filters applied because there are no red dots in front of any one of my filters, and I do have quite a few filters. But as soon as I hit that filter on, the dots indicating not being pulled, it becomes very apparent. And if you notice near the top center, we've got quite a few red dots. Most of the dots are happening from about 2,500 RPM to about 3,500 RPM. You'll notice he is getting some knock reported down in the very low KPA range. More than likely, that is the ECU misinterpreting knock. But this knock at the top is a real concern. Notice I've highlighted a one of the red dots by tagging it with my left mouse click. 
And what I can do is then go back to the log view and see exactly where that happened. What I did is hit the arrow up button and zoomed right into that place. Both logs are synced at all times. And you can see down at the bottom where spark knock rear came on very aggressively and then slowly decayed off. You'll also notice the spark knock front in green is repeatedly coming back into effect, and we would normally address that also. But in this case, we're just looking at the rear for the demo. So now I've switched to histogram view. What this view does is puts all the information you're looking at in the upper left corner, in our case, RPM map and advanced front, and puts it into buckets. Along the bottom is RPM which I've put into buckets of 1,000, 1,250, 1,500, and so on. But the tuning software is probably different numbers. I've just assigned some numbers for the demo. Up the left side is KPA, or manifold air pressure. If you notice, I happen to have Z digits on the left side set to zero, just for clarity. I have set the rows and columns to 16 by 16. You can set that to any size that your tuning software is using. And I've also got color based on value. In the middle, you can see in red is 44 degrees timing in a downshift, bottom right corner. Full power on the top right is running about 20 or 21 degrees. And on the left at low RPM, this owner is running about eight degrees of timing. But basically we can put back together with a data log, whatever timing map is in or in the ECU. So now I've changed the color on the upper left to spark knock rear, and you can see in the top center, I've got a red cell that's averaging 0.34 degrees timing pulled. This is averaging in even the places or even the times that I did not get timing pulled right there. I also have the mouse hovering over the cell 60 kPa by 3000 RPM. And you can see on this, this data log, the person hit 594 times on that cell. You can hover over any cell and see what we get. So now if you notice on the right, there are no red dots in front of any of my filters. But if I hit our no spark retard rear, now you're only seeing the retard when spark retard did happen. And you can see at 80 kPa and 3000 RPM in red is 1.59 degrees. It's not horrible, but nonetheless, we probably want to pull a little timing. Where I have the mouse now, you can see that there was 13 hits, not the 590 some odd that we had before. That's because all the other data has been thrown out and we're only looking at the data where he had knock. So his knock issues are running from at the bottom about 2000 RPM up through about 3750. And it's reporting from 25 kPa up to 100. More than likely at 25 kPa, knock is something else being reported by the ECU. But once you start getting into the 50, 60, 70 kPa on up to 100, it's well worth pulling timing to get some of this knock out of the motor. The last thing I'd like to show you is you can right mouse click out in the center somewhere, anywhere, and change the length of the trail of the dots uh, previously hit. What this will give you is if you notice there's this line running from about 55 kPa and 2750 RPM. It goes down and then comes up and back down again, ending at the circle. There's a vertical line on the bottom, in the bottom, that's the area that we're looking at about two seconds worth of data. The reason I know that is I'm getting about five data points per second, and we're looking at the last 20 data points. I would like to thank my friends at TunerStudio.com. These are the guys that develop the software that allow us to look at these data logs. I happen to be using Megalog Viewer HD, which is a software it takes to get to the histograms. Thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe.